Welcome back to New Day Northwest. A new memoir is mixing together the themes of friendship, grief, and self-reflection through the lens of being the son of Taiwanese immigrants. Hua Xu is the author of Stay True. He's got an event at Elliott Bay Book Company tonight, but he's here first at New Day, so thank you for coming and stopping by. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. You grew up in an, an American as the son of Taiwanese immigrants, but the book isn't just about the Asian American experience though, right? Yeah, it's a book about friendship, you know, listening to music, that moment when you're a teenager trying to figure out who you are and sort of measuring yourself <laughs> against other people. Um, and ultimately it's about grief because it sort of revolves around this really important friend of mine who um, passed away when we were in college. I'm sorry. That was Ken, right? That's right. Can you tell us about your friendship with Ken and what he meant to you? You know, I was very much a typical 90s snob. Um, he was very open-hearted and warm. and. For those precise reasons, I kind of didn't trust him at first, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, we became really fast friends, smoking cigarettes, late night drives, uh, just talking, and um, yeah, we were sort of this unlikely pairing, but uh, his friendship meant a lot to me. Yeah, it's really hard to lose a friendship, and grief is something that I think, it changes us forever, and it kind of changes the course of who we are. Um, in the book, you also talk about other subcultures and how they factor mm -hmm. into your work, yeah. uh, like film, music, uh, design making. What What is that? Uh, you know, they were just sort of these independent, you know, there were like mainstream magazines and there were these things that we would make, mm -hmm. um, just Xerox, cut and paste, you know, <laughs> trying to get your own ideas out there. Yeah. Um, I guess on the internet nowadays, anyone can do that. But back then, mm -hmm. um, you know, it was just a fun way to pass the time and just figure out who you were by yeah. the things you were passionate about, things you wanted to write about. I feel like we were able to be more creative back then because we had to actually work with our hands. We didn't have all the, the yeah. tools of the inner, inner webs. Yeah, so much of the book is actually about what it felt like to be bored in like 1995 or 1998 <laughs> because there just weren't that many things to pass the time with, you know? It's and true. so instead you just kind of stay up late Listen talking to music, about like yeah, you listen said. to music, talking about that one movie you've seen a dozen times. Yeah. And, um, so much of the book was about trying to recapture that time for me. It is a good time when you think about that. <laughs> where, by the way, where does it all take place? Uh, it all takes place at, mainly at Berkeley, where okay. we were undergrads. Um, but it's very much kind of a West Coast mm -hmm. book. It's it's very California in its essence, I would say. I love it. <laughs> it's also a very intersectional memoir. Did you mean for it to be that way? You know, I didn't really mean for it to be anything. I was just writing as a method of coping mm -hmm. for, for ne nearly 20 years, just trying to figure out what it was that had impacted me so about this friendship. But I guess in the course of writing about it, you know, I did write a lot about being Asian American, mm -hmm. being the child of immigrants. Um, and so I think it was just sort of a reflection of who I evolved into over this yeah. period of time. What do you, th the title of the book is Stay True. What do you want readers to take from this and why this title? Uh, that's a great question. It, it was just an inside joke that he and I had. <laughs> <laughs> and, but I think as I've thought about it more, I mean, it's just sort of staying true to not just who you think you are, but mm -hmm. who you might become and right. staying open to possibilities. I think it's important that I love <laughs> I like this, the 7-Eleven yeah. here. Because, I mean, what, like you said, where did we go when there was, you know, we had no screens to hide behind. Yeah. So we did drive around and we found unlikely hangouts in places like 7-Eleven or <laughs> the local coffee shop, yeah. Red Robin. And I like that you have added, you know, some pictures in here and things that kind of, they do bring us back to that time. I'm really excited about this, and thank you so much for sharing your story. And I know it, it's got to be such a it's such a journey for an author to be so open, but we appreciate you for being so. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. And Hua is holding an event tonight, an author event, at Monday the 7th, that is today, at Elliott Bay Book Company on Seattle's Capitol Hill. We've got more info they do on their website, so go check it out. All right.